Right, uh, good evening. Um, just uh, a few, few extras. It's, it's a bit dark outside, but uh, uh, I feel I'll I feel, I pull a few new things up. A lot new, more new lights, as you can see. Uh, signals, very nice. Uh, not these lights, these are four foot each, are brilliant. Kites lights, uh, lots of them. Lots of people. Uh, a nice evening running session. Uh, new 31 there. Very nice. Uh, and I've got these signals which are really, uh, really clever. Couldn't be easier. For example, we take the far one there, just before the tunnel, this chap here, okay. Uh, just clip straight into the track. I get an accessory. And I've labelled that number one. Okay, at the moment that's that's set to to green, uh, red. If I just change that, if I just press it, great camera work again. The light is now green. Back to red, green, red, green. Absolutely superb. Yeah, I mean the the twenty, oh, I think the twenty four pounds for a single, thirty odd for a double, but I, I think they're really good. And the, the programming is just the easiest thing in the world. Uh, Traintronics, they are. I really like them. They're expensive, but they're going to do the trick. And seeing as I've got a hidden end of the station at that end, I don't really need uh, signals, so that's going to save me about half of what I need to spend. So I'm pretty, pretty chuffed with that. Um, Right, it's all running quite well. I get that the wheels of all my locos are really good clean yesterday and they run like a dream now. This 31 is very nice. Bit of an issue at the moment, the tail lights aren't working in one direction. And the 56 uh, with sound is superb. That's a really good loco. I have to say the Hornby HST and the Hornby 56 are really, really good performers. As is the Helgen uh, 47, the overscale one. That chap there, they're, they're really good. I think Backman look the best, but I'm not convinced uh, they're the best runners. But it's starting to look, uh, starting to look interesting. I still haven't decided what I'm doing with this. Uh, I just don't really know. Uh, taking out that island platform, that's... Uh... Somebody asked me, what do you do if you take the sleepers out? Well, you do this. I've just glued a, an occasional sleeper, a chair, as you can see, all the way along and just gauge them with a, uh, a pair of wheels. Just use something like that just to get the right gauge. Super glue is your friend. And uh, I really like this effect. I really like it. And uh, I'm gonna stick with that. If you don't like it, you just replace it with another bit of track, but uh, I quite like that. So it's staying, definitely. Um, oh yeah, I also got this little wagon. I uh, it's tail light flickers. There we go. And it goes with movement. Let's move it over here. Well, it detects movement, so 
and then it stops after about five uh, five minutes if there's no movement. It's really good. Uh, again, Train Tronics. Well, twenty five quid's a bit pricey, but you know, whatever. And my little 08 there is kind of interesting. I do like that little 08, it runs well. Uh, pretty well. So that's it. That's it for now. Um, uh, yeah, quite uh, quite happy with that. It's, it's uh, performing well. And I've learned again that you keep the track tidy, the track clean. And uh, it doesn't have to make a massive difference. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Very nice. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching.